the legislature and the executive. And, uh, and respectively, they play their respective roles. Chakwera well, ignored this, this aspect deliberately to forget... Honorable the member, to said the president. Okay, the president... <laughs> Okay, the president uh, deliberately ignored this important noble task with the first deputy speaker and uh, I can't remember the constituency of Honorable Chingoma and the leader of the house to ensure that a political criminal enterprise of the Malawi Congress Party is back in power. Madam, Spe Madam deputy speaker, let o me honorable member. the chairperson of the Malawi Honorable Congress member. Party. Honorable member. If you don't know the constituencies this honorable members represent, it's better to leave it out. I am not pleased with the way you are continuing. Not yet, and not make yet. sure that your debate is based on the sauna. Thank you. Uh, Madam, Madam Deputy Speaker, let me thank the chairperson of the Malawi Electoral Commission, who indeed declared the Tose government of the president uh, Dr. Lazar Tsekwela, the winner in the elections. And again, quoting this on page 4, many of which require uh, fixing other state systems, as radically as our judges fix the electoral system. Madam Speaker, Madam, Spe Madam Deputy Speaker, the chairman made a long judgment, both on the decision of who won the 50 plus 1 election, when he did not conclude... Point of order, Madam Speaker. The with the court case. Honorable uh, Chief Whip, what has gone out of order? Otherwise, we have is to it, give him time to conclude. Is it in order to reflect on somebody, chairperson of MEC, who is not present here and he cannot come to defend himself? As simple as that, because he is reflecting on the MEC chair that he did wrong in announcing the results. Chair of MEC cannot come to the House and defend his position, which he took that time. Is it in order? It is out of order, Honorable Chief Whip, and I sustain it. Thank Honorable you. Member, avoid mentioning people who are not in the House and they cannot be given an opportunity to come here and defend themselves. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Let me acknowledge the speech by Honorable uh, Dr. Lazarus Seguera, the President of the Republic of Malawi, who acknowledged that the, the Leto Commission declared him the winner on 50 plus 1 uh, elections. Madam, ma, Madam Deputy Speaker, up to now, Malawians don't really know whether he really won by 50 plus 1 or not. The evidence that shows that to the point is that, uh, Madam Speaker, the evidence that shows to that point is that uh, 15, to, 15 to 30 or 50 monitors of the, of the, of the Democratic uh, Progressive Party, up to now, it is not accessible that we are kidnapped by the mighty Malay Congress Party, the party of death and darkness, as a race. Unless the Malawi Electoral Commission issues a statement of yes, leader. the effect showing that Zimba the North. monitors of... Zimba North. Yes, Madam Speaker. Zimba North, resume your seat. Leader. I'm standing on standing order 102. With your indulgence, Madam, may I be allowed to leave? Yes, please. A member is responsible for the accidents of... Mention the, the standing order again. Standing order 102. Okay. A member is responsible for the accidents of any facts which he or she alleges to be true. Therefore, I'm standing to ask you, Madam, that the member should be able to provide evidence that Malay Congress Party abducted 15 or 30 monitors of the GPP and Madame with the I would like him to bring that evidence in the house and show to Malawians that indeed that happened. I thank you so much Madam. Thank you very much. Yeah. Honorable member for Nzimba North have been warning you for using unnecessary words and information. Now, the leader of the House is asking for evidence. 
on what you have insinuated. Thank you, uh, thank you, Madam, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. An allegation that member monitors of the Democratic Pro uh, Progressive Party monitors. Did you say in the first place that it is an allegation? Uh, yes, I did. Yes, I did. Yes, oh, I did. You, you didn't say it is an allegation. Uh, I you did. didn't. I did, Madam, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker. I did, as alleged. As alleged, and uh, I think members can allude to that, Madam. Continue the way you are, you are doing, then I will, I will just ask you to resume your seat. You want to uh, proceed uh, with your, and, your and seat? Point of order, Madam. Madam Deputy Speaker. Point of order. Me, yes, Leader. Good. This is the House of Records. We have an opportunity to listen back to his speech. He has said that he has evidence. And I stand, I stand to that. If anything, may we be given a chance, all of us, to listen. Because the House has that material, capability of all of us listening from his speech. And I stand that he must bring evidence. Uh, Madam, Madam Speaker, uh, uh, Nzimba you know, North, Nzimba North, may you resume your set? Uh, Honorable Member, I have the floor. Uh, Nzimba North, the Honorable Leader said we should have a replay of what you said so that we can confirm if indeed you said it's an allegation or you have evidence. May I ask for the replay of that statement? Thank you. Honorable members, I'm informed that it will take almost three, four minutes for us to have the replay. So for the meantime, yes, therefore I defer my ruling up until we listen to the replay. For the meantime, we'll continue with the debate. Honorable member, you have only two minutes because you started at 11.24 and you stopped at 11.00. 35. So I'll give you two minutes just because we had so many stoppages. Thank you. May you let the honorable member to finish his two minutes. Yes, you will come later. Let him finish his two minutes. Ma Madam, Madam Deputy Speaker, 
Let me quote from the song again. We cannot win the fight unless the Corruption Bureau has the power and resources to investigate cases freely. End of the quote from Honorable uh, the President, Dr. Lazar Chakwera. Madam Speaker, allow me and indeed uh, Parliament to draw you to the popular water gate scandal of the United States. Uh, uh, what a great scandal of the popular president Richard Nixon of 1972, which mirrors the popular Satagate scandal in Malawi. Madam Speaker, the Watergate scandal was a major political scandal in the United States of involving <laughs> involving the administration of US President Richard Nixon from 1972 to 1974 that led Nixon to, to resign. Malawi's constitution is a hybrid of the British system and the uh, American system. Madam Speaker, the scandal in the United States stemmed from the Nico Nixon's administrations, like the Chakwera's con continual attempts to cover up uh, its involvement in the June 17, 1972 break-in of the break-in at the, the national uh, headquarters of the Democratic uh, 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 offices. Similarly to the break-in, Madam Speaker, allow me to cite the break-in on at Martha Chizuma for such a massive corruption scandal. Madam Deputy Speaker, with these the, remarks, Malau, ma, through, with these few remarks, Madam Speaker, Madam Deputy Speaker, apart from the from the, the popular Zimba, uh, Chitipa South, Malawi is being exposed to obstruction of justice. Malawi is being exposed to abuse of power. Thank you. Madam, is Thank you, Honorable. Speaker. Resume your seat. Malawi is being exposed to the contempt of charges. Resume your seat, Honorable. Which, Madam Speaker. Obstruction of justice. Resume your seat, Honorable. Resume your seat. Very serious. Resume your seat, Honorable. Sata gate is very important, especially that it didn't. Point of Sata, order. Sata. Point of order. Honorable members. Point of order. Have you withdrawn your point of order, Honorable? I recognize him first, sorry. <coughs> so, uh, second deputy speaker, it's our practice in this house that uh, uh, when a member is debating, the chair recognizes a maximum of two points of order. And uh, if it, at all the additional points of order, they are taken after. But, uh, we have observed that when it is members sitting on your left hand side that are debating, you are able like, like, like for example, the member from Zimba North has been attacked by four points of order while debating. Four points of order. Honorable member, may you... That may disturbs the flow. Uh, may, may I have the but standing maybe, order that you are referring to? consistent, Madam first, Second Deputy Speaker. Thank you. I know the standing order that you are referring to. This House, Madam Deputy Speaker, is run by both rules and practices. Thank you. <laughs> I'm talking so of practice. So it's just a practice. I'm ne? talking of practice. It's just a practice. Okay, fine. It's just a practice. So I can decide whether to give two, three, five, ten. Thank you. Zomba Jisi. Thank you very much, Right Honorable Speaker, Madam. F Second Deputy Speaker. Right Honorable Second Deputy Speaker, I did rise in the last uh, sitting of Parliament in my capacity then as Shadow Minister of Information, but now I'm fired. I am, I am now fired. But I can still stand, right honorable speaker, on behalf of the people of Zomba Chisi constituency. Right honorable speaker, we did observe then, and I'm also observing it now, 
that uh, the national broadcaster, the Malawi Broadcasting Corporation, is not covering and has not been covering the proceedings of parliament live as they used to do before. Right now, it is only a private broadcaster, and that is Times, Times Media, that is covering the proceedings of parliament live. I did ask then to ask the Honorable Minister of Information to explain to the House as to why the Malawi Broadcasting Corporation, which is run on taxpayers' money, is not covering the proceedings of parliament. We are in a very, very important Thank you, Honorable. Right now. I, I, I get your like clarification. Need to hear, to, to listen to the proceedings of parliament. Why is the national broadcaster... I get your concern, Honorable. Thank you very much. I get your concern. Uh, is that Minister of Information? Thank you. You have the floor, Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Second Deputy Speaker. Uh, I think uh, what the Honorable Member has put on the floor is very clear, but probably uh, he has to be reminded that the way we are operating the Malay Broadcasting Corporation is very different from the way it was being operated in the past. Uh, the Malay Broadcasting Corporation is operating independently now, and uh, it makes its own decisions. They have certain policies that they have to follow, and uh, uh, that is what is informing their decisions. However, uh, I'll be taking the matter to see what could be done. But first thing that has to be uh, mentioned here is that MBC is now, is now very, very independent. So they make very independent decisions. I submit, Madam Second Deputy Speaker. Thank you. Order. Thank you, Honorable Point Minister. Point Honorable order. members. Point of order. What has gone out of order, Honorable? The Honorable Minister is not answering the question. The question is, Malawi Broadcasting Corporation is run on taxpayers' money. Whether the management is independent or not, are they not going to get money funding from Parliament? Honorable, Honorable, Honorable Minister, resume your seat. Uh, honorable Members, what the Honorable Minister is saying is that uh, MBC has made a decision of not coming to cover our proceedings. Now, you as Malawians, you can ask them to come and cover our proceedings. That's all. The Honorable Minister will take that issue to MBC that this is what Malawians want. That's all. Thank you. Can we proceed with our uh, general debate on SONA? Uh, I, I, I want to stand. When they are ready, they will let us know. Thank you. I want to stand on a point of order, madam. Is it a point of order? This is time for general debate. Why are we having so many point of orders? No one wants to take the floor? Um, am I allowed? Yes, can you proceed? Um, Madam Second Deputy Speaker, is it in order for this House to always, when a member of Parliament from Zimba North is contributing, to disrupt him, to confuse him, and then agree with that total confusion from this side. Is it in order? Because this will be sending a signal of tribalism. This will be sending a signal of sectionalism. This will be sending a signal of total, total Honorable member, of honorable member. Democracy. We need Honorable to member, member, resume your seat. Honorable, Honorable member, resume your seat and I rule you out them. of order. We need to protect a member from Zimbo. I'm warning them. Honorable members, can we go back to... No, if it is a point of order, I will not uh, give you a chance. I need to take us on the floor on the general debate. Honorable members... You want to debate? Okay, fine, honorable member. Uh, remind me of the constituency. 
JC South, you have 10 minutes, Honorable. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Madam Second Deputy Speaker, for giving JC South a chance to debate on the SONA, which is the state of the nation address, which was ably delivered in this august house uh, by His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Malawi, Dr. Lazarus Chakwera, last week, Thursday, during the fifth meeting in the 49th session of Parliament. Madam Second Deputy Speaker, this is my first time to stand and contribute after we have had new cabinet. So it will only be my duty to congratulate those who have been retained in cabinet and then of course those who are new in the cabinet. Honorable members, honorable members, you deserve the positions and this is why as deputy leader of backbenchers in the ruling side on the ruling side i would like to actually pledge our total support to you as your backbenchers having said that as our new ministers sometimes they say an advice which is given publicly actually has some sort other than that which is given privately i would like to actually urge you to be our frontline soldiers to be the frontline uh, defense of our policies of the tonse government and indeed the agenda of the tonse government and the agenda of our president this is our plea as backbenchers will be supporting you from the back but you should be the frontline uh, leaders. That's my only humble request to our new cabinet. However, we will support you. Madam Second Deputy Speaker, going to the sauna itself, I will actually dwell first on the fixing the system to deliver long-term priorities and of course a diffuse short-term pressures. Madam Second Deputy Speaker, I would like to concur with the President that if, as a country, we are going to proceed and clearly make headway in as far as development is concerned, in as far as uplifting uh, the lives of the poor masses in this country is concerned, we really have to actually do the fixing of the system. Madam Second Deputy Speaker, when the president talked about fixing, I would like to concur with him, as I already said, but we have also to look, not look, just look at the current situation, we have to actually look at where maybe problems originated from. <laughs> Madam Second Deputy Speaker, when our government changed hands in 1994, that is from one party system to the multi party where we had UDF as the first uh, party to lead in the multi-party dispensation, they found the uh, foundation which was there by Malawi Congress Party. There was a very solid foundation for development, but unfortunately, when they came in, they destroyed everything. They thought by the word of changing, then they used it Hardly, whereby they said change was changing everything, even if things that were working properly. This is bad. And as a country, we are where we are today because other people did not actually continue from where Malawi Congress Party had actually left. <laughs> Madam Second Deputy Speaker, I will cite an example. When maybe UDF was taking over, we had a very, very vibrant sector that is industrial-wise. Industrialization was actually peaking. And I do remember that between 1978 and 1979, Malawi economically was ahead of China. 
Meaning to say, if we had continued with that set uh, priorities, definitely we could have been somewhere. The agriculture sector during the UDF government was completely destroyed. We had press agriculture. We had general farming. We had lots of uh, estates by some banks, commercial banks, which is Standard Bank right now, had estates. And Malawi's economy being agro-based, this was the hub. But what happened? They destroyed. And then we had parast uh, parastatos. I'm talk I, I usually talk of Malawi dairy industries, which I worked for after I had come from the MYP and after I had graduated. I, my first workplace was Malawi dairy industries. And MDI, we used to produce, to make profits year in, year out. But sadly, it was one of the first companies to be sold. And now we are talking of our youths who are jobless. We should look at the reason why we have a lot of youths jobless. A lot of companies which were there were sold. David Whitehead, another example. Cody Storage, B and C. I know that maybe some of, uh, of the MPs, maybe that are there now, were not there. This is why, Madam Speaker, indeed we have to fix the system so that we should forge ahead as government. I have to cite an example. When uh, uh, in Malawi, right now, people just do opposing for the sake of it. For example, Point of order. In this era, Madam Speaker, Point of order. the whole leader, Point of order. the whole leader uh, honorable member of opposition. For South, Point may yes, you resume Madam. your seat? Thank what you. has gone out of order, Honorable? Thank, thank, thank you very much, Madam Second Deputy Speaker. Is it in order that the, the honorable member, who is a former my young pioneer, is misinforming the nation? by withholding very important facts about my Congress party. Facts, facts such as the atrocities that my Congress party committed before 1994. The dark history of my Congress party. You need, Madam, Madam Deputy Speaker, as a, as, a member of, as a member just resumed his seat, he needs to tell Malawians the truth about my Congress party. Tell us those people that you murdered. Honorable we member. Are going to agree with you. Honorable member. Tell us those people that you killed. We Honorable member for Mangochi. Mangochi North. Chivembere. West. Mangochi Sandra, North East. Both. Gadara, Honorable both. member. Honorable member. Honorable member. Thank you very much, Madam Second Deputy Speaker. Honorable member, let yes. me rule on that point of order. Okay. May I continue? No, resume your seat. Honorable members, each one of us has a right to choose what to say. So if the honorable member has decided not to say anything to do with the MCP, he has that right. When you have your chance, you can stand up and say whatever you want. Therefore, I rule you out of order. Thank you, Madam. Chase South. Thank you, Madam Second Deputy Speaker. Uh, the honorable member who stood on point of order. Has so, honorable to... member. Okay. I have right. ruled on that. Thank Proceed you very much. with your speech. He, he has to, he, oh, thank you. He has to tell us where John Gupempa is. Point of order. Point of Madam order. Madam Secretary Deputy Speaker, I was talking about. Uh, uh, order. I was talking about. Uh, Honorable Member from Chesi South, resume your seat. What has gone out of order? Thank you. Thank you very much. Second Deputy Speaker, Madam. Is it in order that the honourable the honourable MP who is giving up a speech to say UDF destroyed the foundation of uh, this country? Because if it wasn't for the leadership of UDF, 
this parliament which we are today could have been in Zomba because by the time the leadership of UDF was coming in this country, Lirongo was only just a market. But because of the democracy, all the things which were in the southern region, today they are here. It's the order that this man cannot stand the UDF government. Thank you. Honorable member, why do you want to put the chair on the corner? <laughs> Much, Madam, Second Deputy Speaker, uh, may I continue from where I stopped? I was about honorable to say member, that... Honorable Member, your time is up, but I'm giving you two minutes oh, no. for the disturbances. Ah. Yes, two minutes. <laughs> Madam, Second Deputy Speaker, I will quickly go through my speech, but I know you have always been good to me. You give me an extra two minutes. You have always been good to me. Thank you very much, Madam Speaker. I was talking about the, uh, opposing just in the sense of opposing without having facts. Madam Second Deputy Speaker, in this era, in 2022, and just yesterday, it surprises me to hear from the whole leader of opposition, instead of giving out facts, talking facts, giving out maybe solutions to the present situation, he goes on to talk about motorcade, a motorcade, and then he went on to, to talk about cooking oil prices. Cooking oil prices are for the elite. People in the villages, local people in the villages are not looking for solutions to cooking oil. They are looking for solutions to real issues. Honorable member, honorable members, order, order, honorable members. If we talk of, uh, if we talk of uh, the one who stood on behalf of UDF, I did not even get what he was saying because the sentences which he was reading did not have order. commas, did not have a full stop. So he was just reading on and on. Honorable members, resume your seats. Resume your seats. <laughs> Thank you very much, Honorable Madam Member. Yes. Your time is up. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable Member, it, it, is, speaker, it, it is not good to. You always give people concluding remarks. You, your time is up, Honorable in Member. In conclusion, Madam Second Deputy Speaker. Honorable member, resume your seat. Resume your seat. I gave you two minutes extra and it's over. It is over, honorable. Resume your seat. Re resume your seat, honorable. Thank you. Yes, Chikwawa. So, oh, the leader is up. May we give him a chance? Eh? Madam Speaker, eh? ah. Madam Second Deputy Speaker, just wanted to provide some guidance if you may wish. Every time you give your ruling, and when you stand up, anyone who is standing up should sit down. And I've noted that there are times, three times we have been standing up and members are not respecting that order. For the decorum of the House, every time when the Speaker, the first Deputy Speaker, second Deputy Speaker stands up, all of us should be able to sit down so that the decorum of the House should be respected. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dida. Yes, Chikwawa. Is that Chikwawa South? Yes, Chikwawa North. Please. Have the floor now. Thank you very much. I, I wanted to say, is it in order for the one who has resumed his seat to Jesus. misinform Jesus. the Republic? Because the constitution of Malawi 
prioritizes nutrition and you know pretty well that one of the issues and the elements of the nutrition basket in Malawi is also cooking oil and it's in section 12 subsection, uh, section 13 subsection B nutrition is one of the national principles fundamental principles of this country and for him to rise up a man trained in nutrition to say cooking oil is for the elite. I think it's not in. Is, is it in order to you? Because it's contrary even to the aspirations of the republic. It's not constitutional. Yes, honourable. Thank you, uh, honourable member. I sustain your point of order. Uh, cooking oil is for everyone. No, honourable. Cooking oil is for everyone. Don't mislead. No, <laughs> I have ruled on that one. You are the one who said it, and I have ruled on it. Thank you. May I have another take on the floor? Honorable oh. member at the back. Dead Zanoth. Dead Zanoth. You have 10 minutes, Honorable. Thank you very much, Madam Secretary.